Greetings tribe, welcome back to the hourglass. All right, so I had this crazy dream last night that I was working in some type of corporate business or career and I guess the team leader or the person supervising the office, they got a letter about firing me or releasing me from the job and uh, one of my coworkers, female, had like this sneaky grin and they were like grinning with each other um, made me feel like I was out of the loop of what was going on when it came to releasing me from this job and I was very furious I was pissed off I started saying a lot of um, things about them having a relationship and they could go to hell and anyway so um, they didn't want me to touch anything they didn't want me to pack my own stuff up they had some movers or security actually come in and do that for me and the last guy the last mover um, he turned to me and he said he was really short kind of more mature maybe in the 40s or something and he kind of said to me hey um, you're leaving something good to get to something better but he didn't say don't worry or it's gonna be okay that's all he said you're leaving something good to go to something better and um, you know when I was walking down the hall of shame you know all of the rest of the employees were like just looking the opposite way they were turning their head they didn't want to be involved and I found that kind of strange because I felt like I felt myself saying man I put in so many hours or I put in so many years into this job and now they're treating me like I'm some type of thief or um, like I'm an imposter like I felt like really outcasted but anyway I had that dream I woke up I was like what the hell was that and um, you know I have a lot of cards on my altar and one of them is uneasiness from a different deck it's an Egyptian deck and it's similar to the five of Pentacles in the traditional tarot so right away I felt like somebody's going through conflict or the reason for the dream because sometimes not all of your dreams are for you I feel like it's a collective um, dream and it was like a lot of conflict or misery or you know you really need to be careful of the company that you keep because you might not be as close to them as you think and it's only when you come in a time of troubles you're gonna really see who has your back who you could really lean on and then the song lean on me started to roll as the lyrics so I didn't hear the music I saw the lyrics when you're not strong I think it goes I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on so you know as a collective we really need to be in tune who we're letting into our energy who we um, have this ex expectation of being a friend because somebody is around you that you're working with it's not a friend and they're working with people that supervises you or people that has the power to grant you further opportunities or growth in your career your job they have that power to limit you so just be careful and things may be you know with this uh, Virgo super moon full moon um, there's a lot of energies that's going to be around as well so we're going to be facing a lot of issues when it comes to deception people that was deliberately misleading you or um, you are just misleading yourself by misinterpreting the reality of a situation all right um, I also feel like anything that fell apart in the past that was meant to, to be in your lives is going to um, reconstruct or it's going to come back but it's going to be it's going to be put back together with more precision or detailed care with this Virgo energy so I also got a channel song somebody's masculine whether it's male or female is trying to hold on to them and you may be trying to move on and the song Neil maybe you're a big fan of Neil maybe this person is a fan of Neil or they just have that really sophisticated um, metro um, but still kind of like feminine style to them so they may look talk very masculine but they still have this feminine that they're trying to gloss over this feminine energy and um, somebody else that's trying to come in um, they want to be more than friends and that Jason 
a song, I think it's from Jason, More Than Friends, where they want to tell you they want to be more than friends. They want to tell everyone that they're ta you're taken by them, vice versa. And, you know, they really want to walk with you. They want to be more than friends. So this person may be a friend, a crush. You guys just talking it out. All right. But it's like some type of it's it's building blocks that's needed here. And somebody wants to take it slow. All right. And somebody just really wants to be more than friends. They feel like you guys have been doing this for a very long time and it's time. It's, you know, it's in route to grow something more. All right. So let's see what's going on. This is obviously a general love reading because this energy is just stick is stuck with me until I say something about it. And again, I saw another song with Neo different. No, it wasn't a song. It was just like, um, I guess you could say celebrity gossip. And I was like, okay, that's my second confirmation. I only need two confirmations to hop on here and give this message to whoever needs to hear it. So you guys may be seeing four, 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 seven, 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 nine, nine, nines. Um, something about hands and feet was in that Neo, uh, lyrics as well. That Leo, uh, uh, I said Leo. So that is in that Neo song, stay Libra and Leo, um, relation or collaboration in that as well. Somebody may have a hand or feet fetish, or they just love those body parts of yours and vice versa. So let's see what is this person's, um, energy when it comes to you. And again, we're in that Virgo super moon, full moon energy. So it's a lot of over analyze, uh, anal analyzation or people are very analytical right now trying to use logic trying to ground themselves as well looking into business a lot of career doings you know hard work in their career so pay attention to a lot of details you know virgos could be very systematic as well so yeah let's see what is your person feeling right now what is the effects from the full moon all right, so the full moon, a super moon in Virgo um, has this effect on them, like they feel discouraged. So, you know, they may be hurt or you guys may be hurt and somebody is very discouraged to try again. They may be even having fears of uh, being hurt in the future if they try to um, hop back on to a situation. Damn, I wish I saw that card. You guys, don't worry about my nails. I'm getting my nails done on Saturday. Um, so I just needed to give it, give my nail best nail bed a rest, but I do miss them things. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you know, a lot of blues and heart chakra. So somebody wants that peace of mind or that peace of heart, or it's like very, um, the issue seems to be the matters of the heart. Okay. So somebody's not willing or somebody feels like they don't have the strength or the courage to get back on, on a situation here. They feel like loss of hope as well, discouraged. Somebody may be jealous. So, you know, somebody may be watching you. This may be an, a formal lover. This could also be a friend or this could be what, what I saw in my dream co-workers that are watching you i'm very envious of your position of the way how you're liked or likable or lovable um by your community by your peers and um they feel very discouraged to even compete or to challenge you or they feel very threatened by your abilities or your skills for another group of you this is actually a former lover or somebody that you left in that talking stage because it didn't it didn't mature it didn't grow it didn't develop so you left someone that felt discouraged to even try with you possibly because they themselves feel felt unworthy or they just could they just don't have the ability to work things out or even put things in motion with you but they're very jealous or this could be your energy feeling very suspicious of someone that you liked or your crush or someone that you you know broke up with but you're still checking up on them and you feel very discouraged to even step forward because it looks like or it appears to be that they're moving on when it comes to love there is an energy of excitement so you know other things could be going on in your life where you're excited about or you know a lot of you that are into uh, astrology you're very excited that the you know mercury retrograde is over but keep in mind we're still in that shadow period that lasts for a week so you know it's still debris still a little clutter decluttering that needs to be done one more card 
So we have guilty. Oh, wow. And then we have unsure. So there's a lot of guilt here. And somebody's not discouraged to take, um, not confident. They're very unsure on what to proceed or what to do here. This person could have been very selfish to the point where they really didn't care what they were doing at the time when it was very pleasing or very satisfying until after the fact they figure out that what they were doing was really toxic or um, unsafe. It was really unacceptable. So now they feel very guilty. Um, this could have been like cheating or, you know, being not a good person to you probably took advantage of the situation and now they're feeling guilty, jealous, and discouraged. Their heart chakra is blocked right now and that's because they're not confident in themselves. But confident is just a feeling. This person is very disconnected from their own intuition and they're knowing on what to do here, do what's right. So, you know, I definitely feel like this person feels safer in silence. They feel safer just by watching from a distance. And again, because they just don't, they don't have the ability or they don't have the skill to lead or to take things, put things in motion between the both of you. So for some of you, this person may be feeling very possessive of you, feeling like you belong to them. You're their toy is what I just heard. Um, no offense, I'm not judging anyone. It's just what's coming in right now. And that song, Neo, stay stay with me i want you to stay with me but they're they're singing it they're playing that tune from afar so this person could be listening to a lot of neil again this person may appear very masculine but they have like this soft spot or you are their soft spot or they'll they just like listening to a lot of soft r&b you know what this person may have not had the confidence to take things in a more um, solid direction with you. And now that you have moved on, maybe someone else stepped in and, you know, decide to take the lead. Maybe you're a person that likes um, partners that way, that takes the lead, that has this confidence, this bold energy of themselves. Pause. Unpause. All right, sorry about that. So yeah. I feel like for many of you, this person left things up in the air a little bit too long with their not so certain, un, um, not confident energy. And instead of you waiting or putting your life on pause, they decide you decided to move forward, meet new people possibly, or you're just out, you know, enjoying yourself, getting some fresh air. And they're looking from afar, feeling guilty now, thinking back on the things that they put before, um, you guys' connection or friendship or whatever was going on between the both of you. For another set of you, this person is at your job, all right? And they're, they're very jealous and um, I feel like they try a lot of different antics or tactics to kind of discourage you from being who you are and when it doesn't work or when they look foolish, they end up feeling very um, responsible for um, whatever, uh, drama or whatever they're causing here, they feel very regretful. And it's like, after they finished trying to provoke a reaction out of you and it doesn't work, it doesn't give them the, um, the results that they were hoping for, they realize like, hey, that was some really unacceptable bullshit, petty shit that I really was trying to do. Hey, so let's see, what is this about? Let's see. For some of you, together meets forever. First, I was going to say for some of you, this is a divine masculine trying to reach out to their divine feminine. They thought this could also be karmic, karmic, soulmate, soulmate, whatever. But I feel like it's something very, it's connected from the heart, from the heart chakra. So I would limp, I would, I would cancel out anything that's, um, so less um, experience that you, it's just no emotions behind of it. It was tr toxic, dramatic, poisonous, whatever. I would cancel out that. Definitely X that off the list. But this could be someone that feels very possessive of you. They feel like you're their destiny, that you're supposed to be with them. And um, 
now they're seeing you move on, progress with other people, with another person, possibly get engaged. And, you know, this could also be your person seeing this in their community or in their environment. And they're thinking back on um, what you guys were trying to have or what you were trying to have with this person. And they let their insecurities or their doubts stop them from progressing with you. So now there's like, think, they're like thinking about all the different possibilities one could have had with you if they only got up and decided to, um, fight through the hurts, the pains, the fears. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like this is somebody's higher level soulmate or a soulmate that wants to hold on to you, but you're, you, somebody else is, is having your attention. Somebody else that wants to be more than friends. Eh? Somebody else that you may even see more potential because they're taking the lead and your person is, um, probably, Accepting the fact that they are very jealous of you. Let me get the next card here, please. What is this about? Who is concerned? Hey, eh? what? Did, no, you know what? What is the status of this connection? What is the nature of this connection? I saw that. It says, I'd rather spend time with you reminiscing. This person is unavailable and they travel a lot. So I ask, what's the nature of this connection? Or um, basically, I'm trying to figure out who are the key characters here. And this is someone that feels very possessive of you. They're very jealous that you're not giving them attention that they think belongs to them. They feel or they know that you're their destiny. Gosh, just feel like you, like a, um, a joke. Anyway, but they're unavailable and they're unavailable because they're very doubtful of the acts that they did. Okay, so let's move past that. We already know they fucked up, they messed up, and somebody was keeping the score here. So what's next? They'd rather spend time with you, but they're unsure if you feel the same way. So we have saving, big, big bank, poker face. So somebody, this person may be all about money or this is what they portrayed to you. They always had this poker face like they were unbothered. Um, it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. Let's move on from this energy, all right? This is getting mad old. <laughs> What's next? What's next with this guilty? How are they planning to make this up? There's someone else and a blessed union. All right. So, you know, the both of you may be mutually moving on from each other. You're out here dating. You're getting attention from other people. This may be what they're um, perceiving you or this is just their perspective from their stance on their position in your life now. So they know that there is someone else and they're very discouraged to try again, but they want to be with you. Um, it's almost like they feel very guilty or they feel like they have let down either you um, or they feel like they have let down whoever God they believe in. So this person may not be as spiritual as you may be, but they do believe in a higher power. They do believe in karma, the universe. They could be very superstitious as well, and they could feel like they have missed, um, something that was destined for them because of their doubts, because of their discouragement of being hurt or, feeling like, um, they're not good enough. I'm not, I'm not able, I'm, I don't have the ability to. So whatever they were pouring their time and energy into possibly excuses, they now feel a lot of guilt about that. It says, I recognize who you are. So this person definitely knows what you are, who you are, the position you played in their life. And then it comes to unsure. So they're not, they're very uncertain. They're not confident on how to come forward and tell you, I know who you are, but it happened after their guilt. It happened after they understand that they feel jealous, that it's not them in the position that they once had. All right. And you know, this could be stopping them again from trying to move forward or get the ball rolling because they do understand there is someone else, but they rather spend time with you. But right now it's, they're unavailable. They could be having someone else in the picture as well that they're um, dating and they're traveling with. And this is something that they're not telling you. And this is where the guilt is coming from, you know? So it's either they felt like they're in a blessed union or they're feeling like you're in a blessed union. 
and this is where they feel like damn i should have never um i heard um i should have never violated them so this person violated you um to their own satisfaction so you know the again they may be dating someone else it may feel like a blessed union or you may be feeling like what you're having now is a blessed union you may be somehow projecting that maybe you're glowing maybe you're gaining weight maybe you're smiling more and they notice that they notice that you're not the same person as you were when you were wasting time with them i'm going to say that you were wasting time because this person was very doubtful and discouraged about the whole situation so you may have been someone that was um, a little bit more. Okay, so in the Neo song, Stay, that rang through really loud yesterday, you're very unique. Because in that song, Neo was saying words like unique, one in a million, your own status or statue, 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 right? So they feel like you're very unique. You're one in a million and they were just very uncertain on how to proceed with that. I feel like their third eye or their crown chakra was definitely blocked. So um, with the crown chakra being blocked, it's almost like <clears throat> maybe they didn't believe in miracles when you stepped into their life or they was not showing gratitude, taking things for granted. They were completely shut off from their intuition, from their guides. So they, they were very blind because of their own satisfaction as well. Just doing things to please them because we have that dog that bit up that shoe. So that's very pleasing or satisfying or comforting to a dog. But then when the owner gets home, and they realize that whatever they done was unacceptable. It's after the fact, all right? So this person may have been just all about them, but they had some type of loyalty or dedication to you or this connection. Like I feel, I think it's a, a, a divine masculine or a soulmate that you guys um, needed to be triggered by so you could level up in your life so you could meet people or attract things that are more on your frequency because this person has a little bit more maturing or they need to do a little bit more growing or a little bit more learning here as well so they need to evolve within themselves but they're stuck um licking their wounds here feeling sorry for themselves let's bust down the tarot and see what are the key players here Tell me more about Together Meets Forever and I'd rather spend time with you. I'd rather spend time with you. <clears throat> Show me the cards, please. Together Meets Forever and I'd rather spend time with you. All right, so we have the Emperor. So, you know, in any deck, the Emperor is considered um, the father of the deck or it could be the divine masculine that's wanting to come through here like what I suspected because I feel like, again, with this possession energy, the Emperor is very much possessive. Um, this person may um, be very structured in some kind of way or they may have a very clear vision on what they have with you because we have together meets forever and destiny so the emperor sitting on their throne this person may be very stubborn um kind of my way or the highway but they can too be flexible because they are all about um the voice of their people they're willing to listen and be flexible but only on their time is how I feel about this person. This person could also have daddy issues as well, all right? So you may be dealing with someone that's um, kind of like high and mighty, but it's like at times they know they're wrong, but because they're egotistical, they're unwilling to like expose themselves in that way. You know, they have this image of trying to stay in control here, even when they're discouraged or scared or not confident. So this emperor may be wearing clothes that are too big for them. <laughs> Maybe an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Um, I also feel like this person is in a um, leadership role or they want to have leadership over this um, union or this connection. They have some type of strong trust um, about how they feel. So like I said, when they 
kind of accepted that they were jealous and guilty, you may have been the first person to trigger those emotions. And it caused this emperor to finally understand or come to the awareness that this, you are their destiny. We do have the seven of pentacles in reverse here. Um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, but it's like this person may have had you waiting or they feel like they're waiting a very long time to spend time with you. And this could be causing the jealousy that's cropping up here. I feel like this person is very bad with their finance or they have poor financial management skills. This is another reason why they're very discouraged because they may have gambling debts and this has a lot to do with their confidence or yeah, they may feel like you have met someone that's more on your, your league in your league. And then we have judge judgment coming through. So this person, you know, maybe coming to the realization because judgment could talk about realizations here, very strong realizations as I feel here. Um, I feel like they want to revive this situation between the both of you. This is a new awareness they're getting here. That they want to revive this blessed union, but they know there's someone else. And this could be like lighting the fire under their butt. But the seven of pentacles in reverse is um, definitely standing out to me. And it could be a lack of growth or just plain old laziness. This person is very lazy to get back up and put things into motion between the both of you. He probably to even come and tell you they're truly sorry. Maybe they told they apologized, but it was really kind of funky kind of thrown at you there was no um change in behavior and again because of their stubbornness to want to be in control or to they want to show you the strengths and it could be for very selfish reasons but for some of them it's like they want to show you this strength this father type image to to you know made you make you aware that sorry i'm shifting my mic make you aware that they're capable of being reliable on but it's like what they feel and what they're showing you may be presented kind of weird with the awareness and judgment. It's almost like they're calling or they're feeling called to you. They may have like this um, obsession, this weird obsession of watching you or keeping tabs on you. Um, for some of you, this may be job related where you're in a job where it's just not growing and you're coming to this awareness that, you know, um, or you want to somehow yeah, it's like if you're in a job, it's like limited. It's limiting your success, hey, and it could even be preventing you from going into a blessed union or even a blessed job. That's truly your destiny. Um, judgment card showing up here. You have a calling somewhere else and you may feel guilty about letting down the people at your job or you may feel guilty that you have put in so much time and effort, possibly got a degree, a scholarship, a certificate. And now it's like you want to like, um, purge this thing out. You want to just elevate yourself, but it's the truth is this job is not, um, is very limiting for you. It's no effort. It's a lack of growth and possibly a lot of setbacks as well. All right. So somebody may be lacking long-term vision here. I did pick that up, um, with the energy in Virgo, it's about vision as well. Claire vision, the emperor card has that energy as well. So this person may want to communicate. It may be very sharp as well. Let's keep moving. Um, I want to say that the judgment card is like really, really sticking out to me. Um, what is this? I'm seeing here. So judgment could be two, number two here. It's 20, but you know, don't um, bring it down. It's a two. So <clears throat> this person may actually want a partnership or you're just looking for a partnership that elevates you, that uplifts you. You're looking for this blessed union and whoever this person was that's stuck on the ground, that's feeling very guilty about the things that they did, said, or possibly did not do or say, or say, um, it's like, you want to move on from that. All right. You may be feeling like this person is unwilling to learn the freaking lesson here or to do better. And you just got tired of it. You want to first start with judgment. This could also be dealing with work. You want to first start. You want a job, a career that uplifts you. That inner calling is, Hey, hmm. tell me more about the emperor, please. Judgment could talk about 
Scorpio or Cancer energy. Doesn't have to be. Some of you are tapping into your spiritual gifts as well. This could also be heightened of intuition or creativity as well. So we have the world card. Now, the world card has been coming up a lot lately since the end of uh, Mercury retrograde. And I feel like that's a good sign. Now, with these two pairing up, I feel like um, you're going to be ushered into a more empowered state of mind where you're going to find a little bit more structure. You're going to be in a little bit more control. Remember the emperor has clear vision in the mature, in their higher self or their higher energy with the world card coming out. Hey, I feel like some of you are dancers. Every time I see this card, I feel like dancing. I feel like there's something to celebrate. Things are coming to a successful close or you're coming out of a cycle. Um, I heard the word brilliantly. You're brilliantly closing out cycles in your life and you're becoming more successful, possibly in your actions, your ideas or your thoughts and your money or just your physical body in general. Um, I'm not feeling too much in your emotions or your energy, but I definitely feel like in your thought process has changed. Um, it feels very empowering. Your money seems to be measuring up to your ideas or you're profiting from some type of idea that's coming in here so some of your dreams may be materializing those worldly dreams and success so let's talk about or this may be your person so they may be having a lot of success in their life but without you it's like they're still not good enough and you're like who cares i'm moving on that's on you so whatever they've been pouring into they now feel guilty that they have been putting in so many time and effort in and it just didn't pay off it was very limiting success with the seven of pentacles in reverse so we have the seven of wands in reverse is that seven yes sir yes sorry all right so we have double sevens that's going on here um, that's not a master number, but it could talk about divine interventions. It could talk about an inner study or inner wisdom coming to the forefront, especially in that Virgo, um, full moon, super moon. A lot of that is going to be heightened that inner wisdom. Somebody wants to be, um, more open or, you know, more open to life. Mm. This may have a lot to do with your ascended masters being that judgment is here as well. So somebody's ascended masters is carrying them. Your, your ascended masters may be carrying you on, on their shoulders is what I'm going to say. All right. So with seven, with uh, seven of wands, I feel like um, somebody may be dropping that um, very defensive act or keeping people away um, at arm's length. Like I said, it's wanting to be more open or empathetic i hope i pronounced that correctly to those around them or even to life wanting to be more open to life not so guarded some of you this person could be given up or you gave up because they had you on this waiting list or you felt like you were an option so you're giving up hey um and this person you know maybe becoming overprotective because of their laziness because of their discouraged and not so confident energy so they may become an overprotective about um their beliefs as well so they may be feeling defeated weak and timid but they're putting on this persona like you know what i'm unbothered um very overprotective energy and that's because they're jealous they may be seeing you or they're picking up that energy of you pulling away from them. Mm, you guys, somebody may try to ruin your reputation. Like that dream I had, like I said, the office manager and the co-worker, they were smiling and I was out of the loop. Like they had some type of secret language going on, um, something about me. And I felt like I was set up. I felt like somebody was trying to take me out of the competition and it's like, you have to be careful of people not trying to ruin your reputation, some type of competitor energy, and they're too lazy to earn it the right way. Please be careful because you have a lot of good thoughts, a lot of actually, you have that gusto to bring your ideas into reality. And somebody's like really fucked up over that instead of them trying to pull all of that um, un unacceptable energy into 
coming up with their own strategies they rather do things in a very grimy way so just be careful of that that may also be a new awareness for a lot of you or this is going to be revealed the truth would be revealed with the judgment and judgment will be cast upon these people tell me more about judgment please five of pentacles so somebody's going to get what's coming to them and it's going to end up in poverty they're going to be like stone cold lack of a lot of shit especially money um this person may even revert to donations or um sketchy donations because they're lacking money so it's almost like in the dream i i got released i got fired but it's like when that person that last mover came in and said you're going to move from what's you're going to you're going from good to better it's like this person, if this is a work-related situation or family situation where somebody's trying to compete with you for what's destined for you, the judgment is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Everybody's going to have a loss. But with you, my viewer, you're going to be the one to pull yourself out of the hole while these people are going to be left in their mess. They're going to be, they're going to go back to what they, it's like a dog, it's like, what I'm seeing is they're going to go back to eat their own shit. Some dogs, when they shit, they eat it. This, These people, these people that's trying to compete with you or this person that thinks that they own you or they think that, you know, you should be under their spell, they're going to go back and eat their shit. And you're going to, like I said, some of you have your ascended masters or your ancestors, your angels looking out for you protecting you you're on the shoulders of your 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 guardian angels and it's gonna lift you out you think you're seeing one set of footprints but you you, you think it's yours but it's not you're on the shoulders of your guardian of your spiritual teachers your ascended masters whether you think that's jesus christ whoever you think it is whoever you trust whoever you see in your mind's eye that is who helping you. This could also be a grandmother, a grandfather, a late dad that passed, a very stern mother that you would never think is protecting you. It's there. They're there. And like I said, in that dream, that last mover came in and said, you're going to go from good to better. And he, he just kept going, picking up my stuff. And I remember going out of the building, trying to catch a cab, a taxi. And all the taxis was like, well, you have too many stuff. And I remember looking at my stuff like, hey, why the hell do I have so many boxes from a job? Like, what the fuck is in there? Like, X-Files? Is this like Scully and Mulder shit? Like, what is this? Like, I don't need this anyway. If, it, if this job is letting me go and it was kind of limiting me anyway... I don't need all of this shit. And I remember thinking that before I woke up, like, I, I don't, what's the point of these boxes? Like, I didn't even want to look in the boxes. I just wanted, I just wanted to leave it and jump in the cab and go. And I feel like a lot of you are having this energy. You're leaving the past in the past. And with this full moon, super moon Virgo is come, that big energy is going to help you to progress because you know, you're going to be more grounded. You're going to be able to see the deception. You're going to be able to see through people that's deliberately trying to mislead you. And that's being analytical. Now you have to balance that out. You don't want to be over analytical where you're blocking out a very blessed union. All right. So this person that's out in the cold, that feels guilty, that feels jealous, they're going to stay there. And I feel like this person is a beggar or they're begging for some type of assistance. Hey, all right. They could be putting their cash apps in their bio. They could be putting their website links in the bio. It's like they're looking for attention or they're looking for assistance or, you know, and they're going to realize like, they couldn't pull a fast one over you. They couldn't put, it's like, they couldn't bring you down. And then we have the, what is this? The eight of swords or the seven of swords, more sevens. So didn't I mention that with, um, four, 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 seven, 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 nine, nine, nine. So go back to the beginning of the video and check that out. I know I did mention that. Okay. So this is the eight of swords. My bad. So is this the eight of wands? Oh my gosh. Is it? No, it's right. <laughs> so this is the Eight of Swords, not the Seven of Swords. All right, so the Eight of Swords, um, you guys, 
you're going to cut yourself loose from whatever. This may also be the person too. now recognizing who you are, what you are to them, how significant this connection is, realizing the things that they did to jade it, um, to like funk it up. And you know, they may be just cutting themselves loose. This may be something that they're working on. They may be also going through, um, a lot of balancing their life with the world card, closing out a lot of different, uh, cycles, karmic patterns, you know, karmic relationships, a karmic lifestyle. They may also be stepping into their divinity and the emperor and cutting themselves loose from all of these, um, expectations of others or obligations that they put themselves into due to what other thought they should be doing. And I feel like they're going to have a guardian angel that's going to help them. Or this could be them watching you in your masculine energy, whether you're male or female. They're watching you in your masculine energy, you know, being very decisive, having this clear purpose with the emperor, um, really building structure in your life, you know, taking control of the things that you could control, which is your own growth. And that is inspiring this person to tap into their always active um, intuition that may be overactive at times where they feel like um, they're going to get hurt when they're not. So they may have an overactive imagination and, you know, watching you from a distance, this could even be the person that tried to um, sabotage you. They could even learn a lesson like, hey, you can't really stop a good person. You could only strengthen them. So a lot of you kind of acts like, why am I always attracting toxic or broken people? It's not that you're attracting toxic people. Toxic people, they fuck with any and everybody. All right. The issue is letting this person stay. That's what needs to be worked on. Why are you letting toxic people um, control so much aspects of your life? Why are you letting toxic people stay? So it's not that you're attracting toxic or broken people, honey. <laughs> no, they choose any and every fucking body. Okay. It's just who allows them to continue the bullshit. And with the feeling guilty and the judgment here and the five of pentacles, you call truth on this person. All right. You open that box that they were trying to put you in. You bust that shit open. You crack that glass ceiling that they try to put you in. And it put the both of you in the cold for a little while. The both of you were struggling, whether it was finances, a streak of bad luck. Some of you could have even got um, sick with your diet. You may have lost weight or you gain weight. And some of you may have respiratory. Some of you have your life has shifted so much when the truth came out about this person's guilty acts that you may have, you know, moved away and had to struggle for a little while. But with the five of pentacles, some of you are going to be uplifted in your ascension. You're going to meet somebody that has a blessed union. Or if you don't have a twin flame or a soulmate at this time, you may be your own soulmate, your own um, soul guidance. All right, because that is a huge possibility as well. You know, the most um, important relationship is the one that we have with ourselves. All right. So that's first and foremost before you could pour in or try to um, co collaborate with anyone. But anyway, um, this person does recognize who you are. And this is the after tarot. So it shows you a um, couple seconds after the traditional tarot does. So I definitely feel like this may be future events or this may be happening presently because I like to stick with the present energies. I'm not a fortune teller. I just read the cards of the present energy so we could gain some type of um, insight or we could shift or alter or... Um, you know, maneuver our intentions to create this destiny because we are, we are also the co-creator of our destiny, but ultimately the choice is ours. If we do want to co, um, work or coincide or co-create with that destiny. All right. So peace to you and those you love. I pray you have the courage to see the chains that hold you back. And I hope you find the courage to break them because we are practicing this unbullshitified life in 2020, the master builders. Yeah. Here on the hourglass. So I'm happy that you're here. I happy. I'm happy that you tuned in. I hope that you found some beautiful insights, inspirations, encouragement, and ideas here. And if you did, please comment, comment, comment. Let's keep these free, amazing readings going. Thank you very much for the gratitude donation. Those of you well wishers and prayers. Um, 
that you're um, raining down and me and my son do to his elbow surgery i appreciate it so freaking much every little counts all right and i will be posting when i'm opening up for personal readings and that would be after um uh what's happening here cools down or calms down or becomes more smoothly all right so um be aware you guys stay vigilant and use your discernment chat to you guys later Ciao.